Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another sweet micro bits lesson. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, friends, we need to visit Tinkercad. I choose sign in with Google, and then we go to circuits. We are going to create a brand new circuit, and let's name it Magic 8-Ball, and put our initials after it. All right, if you've never seen a Magic 8-Ball, these were created back in the 50s, and when you shook them, you could get an answer. And since you can shake a micro bit, I thought this might be fun as well. So the first thing we need to do is find our micro bit. When you scroll down and bring it out, I like to hit start, click on it once, and then take the display and put it beside it. It just makes it easier for me to film for you guys and for you to see what we're doing so that I have more room to play as I do the code. When you click the code, we want it on start to say Magic 8-Ball. If this is your first time, let's hit start so you can see it happen. You can see the words come across the screen. It says what you created in the show string. Now the magic part of this is we're going to use the on shake key to make it so that when we shake the micro bit, it gives us an answer. We're going to do that with a couple things. The first thing is a variable called pick. You could put any name there. I like pick because it actually works pretty nifty with our program. So when we shake it, we want to set the pick to a special number. I'm going to move forever out of the way and I'm going to move this over. Notice you can grab and stretch so we can see our code better. And we're going to set pick to a random number. This is one of my favorite tools. So when we hit this, it'll go from one to 10, but I'm going to change it to one to two for the first part of this project. Now, once we've got the choice picked, then we need to say what to do with it. What we're going to do with a if command. And instead of if true, this is so cool, you can bring out the math instead. So when we drop in our if, we can change this number to the variable. So we're going to say if pick equals 1, then it does this option. And the option is simply going to be show a string. And if it equals 1, we're going to say yes and give an exclamation point. We are going to right click and duplicate on the word if and set it below. Make sure it goes if pick string, if pick string. If you get them inside, you can just grab and bring them down below. If you make a mistake, you can simply drop everything in the trash and right click and do that again. So if the pick is one, it's going to say yes. If the pick is two, so we just put a two there, we're going to tell it to say no. When you hit start simulation, you will see that the whole thing lights up. It says our words magic eight ball, which we do have to wait for those to go away. And then you can finally hit the shake button, which is right here after asking a question. My question is going to be, is it going to be sunny today? And let's see what my magic micro bit has to say. No, it is not going to be sunny. So what that means is when we shook it, it did the random number and it picked the number two. So now we're going to stop this simulation and let's give it more choices. If we right click and duplicate this if and set it down below. So now you can see that we have four ifs all nice and separated. Remember, if you accidentally put one inside, you've got to get them like this. Change your results to three and four and put in new phrases. I'm going to put I think not and I'm going to put surely and then when we return up here I'm gonna put a four now I want the first part to go fast so I'm just gonna put an eight up here so that we can play with it faster when you're finished I think keep the whole thing so now it pops the eight and I can immediately shake it and it gives me a no which means it got the result of two if we shake it again you can see it did the I think not so it gave me the result of three that's how sweet our little magic eight ball is going to be. I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to nudge this just a little closer. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to duplicate two at a time. I found it's hard to duplicate more than that. I'm going to put in my five. I'm going to put in my six. I'm going to put my phrases. I'm going to choose possibly. Of course. I'm going to duplicate those. I'm going to give it a you are silly. 
sometimes when you write the words this way, it's nice because it's faster. In this one, I'm going to put not likely. I'm going to go back and change my numbers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Duplicate those again. And let's make them nine and ten. So we've got ten different results. Let's go with duh. And it is so. So ten different answers, ten different numbers. Double check that you got all your numbers. And make sure you set your pick random to go from one to ten. If we hit the start button, it does the eight, which is super fast now. And when you shake, it gives one of 10 different results. Now, this is where the original Magic 8-Ball ended. I want to tell the Magic 8-Ball my feelings when I'm done. We can do that by using the A and the B buttons. So, when button A is pressed, I want a picture to show up on the screen. So, I'll be able to say, hey, thank you. I like that. I'm going to do a smiley face, which is super easy. Notice you can hold down and drag as you fill those. And then I'm going to duplicate that but I'm going to make this one go to button B, and I'm going to tell button B I'm sad. So once again, I just held my mouse down and drew the face that I wanted. You can make whatever faces you want. I'm going to go back up because now I think my project is finished. Get my Magic 8 Ball in there. And now, friends, we can hit that Start Simulation. Watch it pop the Magic 8 Ball phrase and ask it one final question before I sign out. All right, Microbit, did you have fun? It's giving me the I think. So, all right, so that was pretty cool. It gave me a nice response. Friends, don't forget, if you had fun with this, if you made something cool, you can share it. If you click invite people, you can copy that link. You can send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HLModTech on all of those. You could also send me an email at HLModTech at Gmail. You could also visit the HLModTech website, and there is a messaging component. You could click in there and send me a note as well. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.